What's up guys, Sal here. So Jimmy's promo is back again with another exclusive hands-on video after revealing the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Z Fold 2. This time it's the Galaxy S20 FE. We've talked about the official specifications of this handset a couple of days ago, but this is the first time we're seeing the handset in its flesh in a hands-on video. As usual, I'll leave the link to Jimmy's video in the description box below. It's a very detailed 6 minute video, do check that out. That said, the first impression, the S20 FE looks pretty much identical to the Galaxy A51 from the front. The bezels are quite thick when you compare it to the Galaxy S20. The S20 has a curved display where it's flat on the S20 FE. Only said that it will have a curved display when he revealed the CAD renders a few weeks ago, but clearly that's not the case. The punch hole camera setup is actually a bit smaller compared to the S20, which is a good thing. It's a 32 megapixel compared to the 10 megapixel on the Galaxy S20. The phone will have one UI 2.5 with Android 10 right out of the box. And yes, just like its older brother, the S20 FE will also have three years of operating system updates. From the back, the phone looks good. It will be available in a range of colors and it's made out of plastic just like the Galaxy Note 20. The camera module is made out of glass though. It houses a triple camera array and the camera configuration is similar to the Galaxy S20 except for a few changes. The telephoto camera is 12 megapixel instead of 64 on the S20. Also the S20 FE cannot do 8K video recording like the S20. Interestingly, this handset selfie camera has a chrome ring around the lens, something we also have on the Galaxy A51. Not sure why Samsung does that though. The screen is 6.5 inches 1080p plus Super AMOLED with a 120Hz refresh rate, sports wireless and reverse wireless charging. Now I saw a lot of you surprised in my previous S20 FE video that it supports wireless and reverse wireless charging with a plastic back. I don't know why it's surprising though, wireless charging works through plastic and through glass. Nokia Lumia phones had a plastic bag and yet had wireless charging, so it's not something new. The only material wireless charging cannot work with is metal and that's the reason we don't see any metal phones these days. Anyway, here's some updated information about the processor and the price. You see, the S20 FE will have two chipsets as the S20 series and Note 20 series, Snapdragon 865 and Exynos 990. The Galaxy S10 Lite has Snapdragon 855 all over the world, but unfortunately that isn't the case with the S20 FE. Now which chipset you'll end up with depends on the network. I mean 5G S20 FE is getting Snapdragon 865 while 4G handsets are getting Exynos 990. Now the price is also going to differ for both of these variants. The 4G Exynos S20 FE will retail for 699 euros or 699 dollars whereas the 5G Snapdragon S20 FE will retail for 799 euros or 799 dollars. If you are thinking about buying the Galaxy Note 20, not the Note 20 Ultra, then I think you should consider the S20 FE instead because it offers almost the same specs and a better 120Hz display. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.